Hello and welcome to the second channel. This channel is where things are a little bit more chill and a little bit more laid back than the main channel. My wife and I recently got invited to be on the Dave Ramsey Show, which was such an amazing opportunity for us. Our debt-free journey was difficult, but it was worth it. And I really do think this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be able to go on the Dave Ramsey Show and be able to do our debt-free scream. Uh, you'll see that here in the video. I have the chapters marked, so if you want to skip around, I'm going to have our whole trip to Nashville on this video. So a big thank you to Dave and his team for having us on the show. If you're interested in comedic commentary videos that is on my main channel I talk about a bunch of goofy things go check me out on there without further ado let's go ahead and hop into the video and show you our journey to Nashville Tennessee okay. we're going on the way to Nashville the Dave Ramsey show this is exciting here we are Very excited. Whoa, that bird flew right by my head. It's a bird. You're being suspicious. I'm gonna report you to the police. Wow, it's so loud. <laughs> you should just roll your eyes when I said it's so loud. It's a plane. Oh god, what's up, YouTube? We're gonna have to talk louder because <laughs> the planes. You should be. Yeah, I'm super, super excited. This has been such a dream of mine to meet Dave and to do this, so it's going to be awesome. Our flight got delayed. <laughs> this is the Chronicles Brian ask you. The plane just finally arrived and it's like 30 minutes after we were supposed to board. I don't know what I'm going to do. Rations have run out. The women and children have been given the final amount. Kate is distraught. All right, so it's 3 a.m., the day of the Dave Ramsey show, and neither one of us can sleep, but we also just kind of got here. Yeah. We sat on the tarmac waiting for luggage. Some screaming children. Luckily, we had headphones. We were in the back of the plane, and literally everybody went up to go to the bathroom at least twice. There was a solid line at all everybody. times going into the bathroom. Like, at all times. And everybody would bump into me. Everyone. So anyways, we got to the rental car place. I said, give me anything that rolls. We finally got back here at like three local time. And then the, we got to the, the hotel and the water was brown in the shower. So that's pretty cool. It only started out brown. Hey, you know, we got to give it a, a nice good st solid rating still because the water was only brown at the beginning of the shower. Yeah. And it, and it only lasted for about 10 minutes. And we're not going to drink it, so it's fine. And we're not going to drink any of it. We're just going to dehydrate. Right, so we'll talk to you guys tomorrow after we wake up. All right, we woke up. It's wake up. We woke up. It's the day of. Yay! We're excited, and we're gonna go to eat some brunch. Brunch time. We're gonna eat some brunch at a fun little fun place. Looking kind of cute today. Yeah. All right, we just got this really cool little place with like biscuits and barbecue and stuff. And she's walking in. Look at her. We're walking into hams and jams. We're at Loveless Cafe. We're about to eat these amazing biscuits. I'm gonna try these out. Ooh, damn, that is good too. These biscuits are ah! oh taste, This tastes like peach cobbler. Look at those biscuits, baby. Oh my goodness, that's a sexy bridge right there. Can we be on that bridge? How do we get to that bridge? I think that's a railroad bridge probably. Okay, let's put the phone down so that we don't get pulled over. Here, hold it. Alright. It's a bridge. Film that bridge, baby. I already filmed that other bridge. That bridge has a car on it. We could go on that bridge. So when we got the rental car, they were like, we only have one left. And I ended up with this truck. So now I'm driving this big old Toyota Tacoma. And I know it's not big, but to me it's big. So I'm over, I'm driving this big old white truck now. I feel like my dad driving a Tacoma. Here we have a cannon from the Civil War. And here it says, do not climb on cannon. And Andrew Jackson gave this cannon to a guy. A really cool guy in history or something. So that's pretty cool, dude. The United States Colored Troops. That's a cool memorial. It's right there. And then right across we have a Confederate soldier. Boo. Boo, Confederate. Look, we got our own parking spot. Woohoo! Woohoo! Let's yeah! Pass. Let's go! We have We're arrived. here! We're here! 
We've made it to Ramsey Solutions. Look at this amazing building. Oh my goodness, guys, this facility is amazing that they have, and the show is literally going on right in the room to the left over here. It's insane. You is beautiful, you just like my lovely wife. You go take out a loan from the Look at that, there he is. This beautiful studio. Yeah. We're going to be right over there at the stage. So this doesn't show up. The only thing that show up on their income tax is if they're deducting the interest that they're now paying. That's freaking what we can owe I once, I saw it in somebody's eyes once. I was driving my kids to school. And I was at a stop sign and some, like, this is the thing about LA, you get like 16 or 15 and a half year olds driving cars, blew past us at a stop sign. And I thought that was very dangerous because it was, and I pulled up, I raced after him and my daughter was like, don't, dad, don't. And I was like, I will, <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> and I pulled up beside him and I started raging at him. You idiot, you fucking idiot, like this. And my daughters were going like that, dad. But I saw in his eyes, I saw the, that's fucking Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> That's freaking Dave Ramsey. There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. On the debt-free stage in the lobby of Ramsey Solutions, Ryan and Kate are with us. Hey, guys, how are you? Hey, Dave. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Great. Welcome. Where do y'all live? Denver, Colorado. Oh, welcome to Nashville. And how much debt have you paid off? We paid off $70,000 in 34 months. Yay. And your range of income during that time? Range of income was anywhere from 35000 to 67000 Very cool. Very cool. And what kind of debt was the seventy? Uh, it was mainly, it was all me, uh, so it was mainly credit card debt and a bunch of student loan debt. Okay, all right. How much of the 70 was student loans? About uh, 55. Yes. Okay, and 15 in credit cards. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Very cool. Very cool. All right, what do y'all do for a living? I'm a physical therapist assistant. Mm -hmm. And I'm in franchise development. All right, very good. So uh, 34 months, 70 grand, and it's all Ryan's fault. We've mm -hmm. established that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me the story. How'd you guys get plugged into Ramsey and decide to pay off your debt and do it in three years? Well, I met my wife um, in college at Texas Tech, and mm -hmm. uh, we ended up uh, meeting in the marching band. She was plugged into FPU through her family, mm -hmm. and uh, we ended up doing it because of that. Uh, mm. I, I saw you on the Fox Business Channel, so I ended up uh, really uh, being plugged in and listening to what she wanted me to do. So mm. it worked out yeah. really well. But I have been well indoctrinated into the system. So my parents actually took FPU about mid-2000s, so mm. I'm a Dave Ramsey kid. I have had the envelope system since I was eight. Now, we mm. prefer to call them financial peace kids. You're yeah. your parent's kid. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. <laughs> well done, y'all. Great job. Very cool. Congratulations. So, yeah, you come in all indoctrinated. Uh, that, that's a pretty strong cult-like word, but okay, yeah, all right, good. Yeah. And uh, Ryan says, okay, he's on, a, he's on Fox Business, so we're going to do it. 
Right. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. And, and here's what I like. You said I pretty much listened to her and did what she wanted me to do. This was this was a guy who knows uh, the secret to a happy marriage. So you got on board pretty quickly. <laughs> but the question is, is what did you do to get going? Were you gazelle right out of the gate or did you kind of get along slowly in it? What did that look like for you? Yeah. So we started actually in May of 2020, about two months before we got married. So we decided to have those conversations to get that transition going before all the ink was dried on our certificate. Nice. Nice. Um, and even though with COVID going on and everything and the chaos of the world, we really just decided that we were going to do it regardless of what was happening. Mm. Um, Why not? Yeah, exactly. So that's really what happened. And our dead ball, our dead snowball started off really small, but, you know, we just kept pushing and kept going. Mm. Okay. What'd you do yeah. to make the income go up? Uh, so we originally started as a condominium a front desk person and a server uh -huh. working every hour that we could. And then about a year into it, we or I upgraded jobs that doubled our income. Nice. So that really, really helped. Yeah, <laughs> really. Helped yeah. me get through yeah. school as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we actually six months in to our journey, my husband got into his last round of schooling and <laughs> we had a moment of, I don't know how we're going to do this without getting another loan. I don't know. And we had to sacrifice a very generous wedding present that we received to kickstart the school savings and to pay. Um, wow, what was it? Can it. you tell us? Uh, it was a gift. It was about ten thousand. It was really generous, and we were we wanted to use it for the beginning of a down payment of a house, but. Mm. You know, sacrifices had but, to be made. Well, so. but you did because That's the way right. you get the down payment for the house is he now has a better income because he got the degree. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah. I mean, PT, uh, you're gonna be you're gonna be okay there. Yeah, yeah good stuff, well done. Uh, but that's a hard decision. Yeah, it hurt for sure. And Especially the good news is you were actually thinking about it, both of you. Now, did you argue about that? Um, no, not too much. Honestly, we didn't argue about the bigger stuff. We argued about the thirty dollars here and there that mm. were unplanned. So what, 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 I'm the free spirit. She's the nerd. Yeah. Okay, so she, so you went and spent thirty dollars on something and almost lost your life. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. You can <laughs> tell there's a little bit of trauma there on her yeah, face just, when she mentions the little $30 here. I'm going to kill there. him. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. Yeah. $10,000, yeah. and then he goes and does that. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. That's fun. That's good. You guys are great. That's that's exactly how it works, though. I mean, mm -hmm. you've got to be talking about it. you got to be talking through the conflict. Um, you got to cry about the sacrifice a little bit, and uh, it hurts, and you got to uh, – I mean, that, that – this is how this whole thing works, because the people that avoid all of that are the ones that just go do whatever the flip they want to do, and then they spend the rest of their life paying, paying the man, you know? Yeah. And so you guys were very mature. You're looking long. Every one of your decisions were long-term thinking. Yes. Not short-term thinking. Yeah. And that's, that's pretty amazing. That's, I mean, well beyond your years. Very, very, very well done. So, uh, Ryan, I'm pretty sure... Your father and mother-in-law were pretty happy. They are. Yes, sir. They are. Okay. Well, who else was cheering you guys on outside the two of you? Oh, we had an amazing support system. We were supported on all sides, both all family members on both sides and friends. We talked to coworkers about it. We talked to anybody and anybody who would listen, anybody and everybody. So we're very thankful. So quick shout out to the McNeely McCullough and the Askew Brooks family because it was so helpful and we are so grateful yeah any uh any haters in the group not really most people were happy but some people were confused but happy <laughs> at the same time they're like i don't know why you're doing weird. it but okay <laughs> yeah, they got married they got weird yeah, yeah. always a couple haters yeah. yeah yeah there's always somebody that's okay that's yeah. part of the program that's those motivate me sometimes more than the encouragers mm -hmm. so yeah good for you guys well done very well done all right now that you're professionals you've paid off in 34 months, with great sacrifice, $70,000 straight out of school, straight into marriage, straight into this debt snowball stuff. What's the key to getting out of debt when somebody's listening? They're watching you right now. You actually did it. It's not theory. So for me as the free spirit, it's impulse control and having discipline, learning that discipline, and also trusting your partner. Um, mm -hmm. And for you? And since I'm a, I'm a huge nerd, so I'm always going to say budget, mm -hmm. I, we had... It was our main tool, our main weapon against it, and we really, oh, I love budgets. I could talk about them all day. Uh, <laughs> but then also having a reason why that's big enough. 
Mm. You know, I had a few reasons why, but they varied day to day which one was bigger than the lack of motivation, I guess. Yeah, that's so. very good. I like that word weapon on budgets. Mm -hmm. I, I might use that. <laughs> it's a weapon against financial stupidity. Yeah, that's good. I like it. The Destroyer. It's good. <laughs> We're going to have a cartoon before this is over. I, I see a lightsaber <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking, in your future. I'm thinking yeah. Conan, you know. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, very good. Well done. Very good stuff. Hey, we've got the uh, Live and Give box for you, the Baby Steps Millionaires book, which is uh, for sure you're well on your way to that. Uh, the Financial Peace University, which started the whole thing for your parents, and now you can go through it as a young couple, or you can give it away if you've already been through it. That's fine. Whatever. It's the Live and Give. That's the whole idea. Total Money Makeover book, you've been doing that, so you'll give that one away to somebody, I'm sure. <laughs> and be an encouragement to somebody. You guys pay it forward. Very, very well done. Sharp young couple, you guys are very cool. Heroes. Thank you. Heroes, I'm proud of you. Very good stuff. Ryan and Kate, Denver, Colorado. $70,000 paid off in 34 months, making thirty-five dollars to $67,000 a year. Count it down. Let's hear a debt-free scream. Three, two, one. We're debt-free! Yeah! <laughs> that's how that's done. I love it. Very cool. Very cool. We are seeing the generational effect now. Yep. Uh, yep. More and more and more. Even some third generations, but a lot of financial peace babies out there. Yeah. Be careful how we name them. Yeah, those, that's yeah. exactly right. Financial peace babies out there. And uh, very cool. Very cool. Very neat. This is The Ramsey Show. We did we it! Did it. We're we found a cool spot. We did it! Oh my gosh, it feels so good. We're out here. It feels so good to have finally gone and done the debt free scream for real on the stage. We didn't actually think we were going to get invited this early, but then it, we did. And we and did. We, we and flew out 3 a.m. Doesn't here. even matter what time we did it. And yeah. I'm so thankful and happy yeah. that we did and we were able to do so. Oh my gosh! And we kind of nailed it too. We kind of nailed it! Not going to lie. I mean, I got a little nervous during the headlights there a little bit. Cut to that. Wow! <laughs> uh, but uh, she picked me up really well. She spoke way more than I did, which was needed. Which because is perfect, because I, wrote, I know more than he does. And I'm not as good at speaking <laughs> in public situations when I don't have a script in front of me. But the stuff I had rehearsed, I did well with. So um, that was very good. But basically, uh, it feels great. Dave Ramsey was like... He, was he us, told us he was proud. He told us he was proud of us. Like, that feels really good. Cause and it's he someone... clapped for us when he came out. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, because it's, so it's a big excited. deal. It's, it's a big deal because even through the hard times of, like, the last three years when it was really hard and we were living off of, like, noodles and Alfredo and literally, like, eating that all the time. We didn't have hardly any money for anything. And he yeah. said what I said. And when I said weapon... He's yeah. going to use that. He's going to use oh, a weapon. He's going to use something that I said. We're going to make a comic book series. I'm going to keep, uh, my people are going to be in touch with his people. We're going to make a comic book series. So um, I just need him to know this when he looks at this video someday. Um, but other than that, yeah, it went really perfect. I think we both did really well. Is there anything else you want to add? The Ramsey team was amazing. and Yeah, they're all great people. So, you know. Wow. Just wow. I do want to say that it is hot. It is about. And we are sweaty. It is about a 90 degree balmy and it is day here. In Nashville. Humid, and we're gonna go. Welcome back to the south. Can't wait to get back to Denver. Also, we got this coin. We're debt free, baby. Oh yeah, it's a nice coin. Might make an ornament out of it so we can keep it forever, uh, cherish it. But yeah, just want. We love people who help other people. Also, I would love to eventually someday be able to help other people as well. Um, so, really great feeling to be able to actually have accomplished this feat, and now also, you know be able to do this. We're going to go get some southern barbecue and try that out. Um, and we're going to... We're going to get we're, some ice cream and we're going to go back to the airport for another two and a half hour flight. Hopefully there won't be any delays this time. And then we're going to get the heck back into a dry climate. All right. Oh yeah, we're getting... We're running. All right, we'll talk to, to you guys after that. We'll talk to you guys whenever I decide to record again. I in fact did not record anything and I feel like it's a good spot to end the video but if you enjoyed this video please subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my content and also go to my main channel if you like the comedic commentary videos. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Goodbye.